Now that we've created a station that's running on our workbench, I'm going to connect to the station and begin building and engineering my job. There are several ways I could connect to the station. The easiest way is to go to my nav sidebar and find my host in the tree. And if I right click on my host in the tree, one of the options I receive in the pop-up is to select open station, which is what I'm going to do. We have the option to connect with a secure encrypted connection, the TLS connection, or with an unencrypted connection. The TLS encrypted connection is a more secure way to communicate, so we're going to use that type of connection. And notice that our port we use is port 4911. That is the default port for a secure connection. I'll click OK. And I'm asked to verify that the certificate that has been self-issued by Tritium for my station communications is a valid encryption certificate because it's not in my, my file store of recognized certificate authorities. And I'm going to do that because I'm secure in knowing that Tritium has issued the certificate and it's not someone who's trying to intercept my communications. So I'll click Accept. And now I need to log in with my username and password. My username, in this case, is admin, which is the default username when you create a new station. And since this is my laptop and it stays in my possession, I can leave the box checked that says to remember this user. Uh, for publicly accessible machines, none of those should be made available, the option to cache usernames or passwords. And that's something that we can show you how to do to change those settings. When we get to my password, I'm going to enter the password I created for the default admin user. And again, since this is my personal machine, I'm going to check the box that says, remember, remember these credentials so I don't have to retype them every time I want to log in. And when I successfully enter the credentials, now I'm connected to my station that's running on my engineering laptop. And this new station is not empty. It has quite a bit of information already in it. Uh, it has shortcuts to the alarm database, to our config settings, to our file system, to any hierarchies we might build, and to the station history. Most of the engineering we're going to do on this station is going to take place inside the config object. That's where all of our station configuration settings are stored. And when we save our station, All of those settings are saved to a file, in this case in Windows, called the config.bog file, uh, which is the file that the station uses every time it starts uh, to read its configuration. Again, you can save the station at any time, and the easiest way to do that is in the nav tree to right click on that station, select Save Station and you are writing any temporary changes that are stored in the RAM of the device to the permanent config.bog file that the station uses as its boot file. So if you were to lose power or, for, or if something were to happen to cause the station to stop running, any changes you've made up to that point would be saved and would be recoverable the next time you started the station.